Hello, I'm Hara Kalemaik and I will present you how Gucci applies certain consumer behavior theories within its marketing activities. Gucci is an Italian established luxury fashion brand founded by Gucci and Gucci in 1920. The company became one of the most recognizable fashion brands in the world since it promotes a unique culture with quality materials and special creations that have been loved worldwide. Additionally, the company is in the number 47 of the Forbes list for the world's most valuable brands, with its value reaching the $12.7 billion in 2017, while the company's sales are currently $4.7 billion. Global fashion industry is valued at $3 trillion in 2017, and it is estimated to be the 2% of the global gross domestic product. According to a survey conducted by Deloitte in 2017, emerging markets drive the luxury apparel product consumption. The same survey indicates that the most popular reasons that consumers choose luxury products are their premium quality, the way luxury products make them feel, and because they are handmade. Gucci applies the learning theory in various marketing activities. More especially, the behavioral learning theory is used in the company's Gucci and Beyond campaign for its fall winter 2017 collection and to the more recent Gucci Hallucinations campaign. Consumers' behavior can be altered when they learn by responding to certain experiences. Pavlov named this process classical conditioning, where a conditioned stimulus and an unconditioned stimulus are associated repeatedly and produce specific results. Gucci, per the popular Star Trek TV series and movie, the 50 sky fi movie Creature from the Black Lagoon, and the 60s sculpture with its Fall Winter 2017 collection. And created the Gucci and Beyond campaign, which is full of aliens, spaceships, and fantastic creatures, dressed in the Gucci's clothes and accessories. The association is evident from the characters, the sky fi music, and from the name of the campaign, which is like the movie Star Trek Beyond. The campaign includes the video advertisement and multiple posts on social media, while a wide number of magazines and blogs published it, which means that it was repeated frequently for many months. Gucci also utilized the classical conditioning in its recent Gucci Hallucinations campaign, in which classic famous paintings and the brand's spring summer collection was paired. A demand of illustrations that include the recent Gucci collection were created. This campaign clearly associates the brand with art, imagination and colors in the minds of consumers while they could perceive Gucci clothes and accessories as art pieces. The campaign is also repeated in the company's social media profiles and some of the campaign's images are becoming huge graffiti and posters in large buildings across Europe and the USA. Another successful application of classical conditioning theory is the Gucci gift campaign on social media, which gathered thousands of likes. In this campaign, Greek gods work as conditioned stimulus and are paired with certain Gucci accessories that the company promotes as gift ideas. As a result, consumers can see these products as gifts from God or associate the power of gods with the brand and its products. From those paradigms, it can be speculated that Gucci brand and its products are associated with positive feelings, such as imagination, romance, art, creativity and innovation in the minds of consumers, and the associations are repeated frequently with various ways. For example, ad campaigns, website banners, social media, magazines, billboards and graffiti. This success can also be seen in Gucci sales, that increased by almost 1.9 million euros in 2017. Gucci utilizes the cognitive learning theory within some of its marketing activities. According to Solomon et al. 2016, people can learn through a mental process that sometimes is unconscious. Learning by observation is one aspect of the cognitive learning, in which people, and especially the young ones, tend to trust others' behavior and imitate it. Gucci created the Mini Meat Children fashion collection in order for kids to dress just like their parents. This has as a result that children are more likely to unconsciously choose the Gucci brand when they grow up since they learned it in a young age from their parents. An example of observation learning can be found in the Kiwi video clip in which the singer Harry Styles wears the same Gucci suit with his younger self, played by a young girl. 
In this marketing effort, the observation learning has an actual meaning, since Harry Styles, young double gainer, is dressed just like her older self, which practically means that when she grows up, she can wear the same suit. The match in parental children clothes that Gucci proposes was adopted by a wide number of people worldwide. A Mintel's report finds that the 38% of affluent parents buy luxury apparel products for their kids, which means that Gucci's idea could have a great success. The matching Gucci's mother and daughter outfits had been preferred by Beyoncé and her daughter many times and gathered millions of views on Instagram. Some of Gucci's major competitors are Dior, Burberry, Prada and Chanel. For this presentation, Chanel company has been chosen as it distributes the same types of products with Gucci and it is also in the Forbes list with the most viable brands occupying the 87th place. Chanel also applies the classical condition in theory and more especially the celebrity endorsement practice in a wide number of marketing activities. According to Tila Dahl 2008, using celebrities as unconditioned stimuli and associating them with certain brands can produce positive feelings in customers. One of the most recognizable faces of Chanel is the Hollywood actress Kira Knightley who has a six years partnership with the company. This means that the pairing of the celebrity with a brand is repetitive, which makes the classical conditioning successful. According to Chanel's website, the actress is preferred by the brand for her androgynous silhouette, her similarity with Audrey Hepburn, and her talent in acting. As a result, the famous actress fits the brand cement, which is an essential factor for a successful application of the celebrity endorsement. Both companies apply the classical conditioning theory. However, Gucci managed to associate itself with more abstract ideas such as art, imagination and innovation, while Chanel paired its brand with certain celebrities such as Kira Knightley. Chanel's approach is quite successful since the association with the actors is repetitive, creative and she, as a person, has a lot in common with the brand's persona. However, the company takes some risks pairing itself with a person, since negative publicity for the actress means that the image of the company could suffer. Also, if the celebrity decides to collaborate with other companies, her association with Chanel brand could fade. On the other hand, Gucci's creative approach is a major success, and this is evident from the brand's value, which is almost double in comparison with Chanel's, and from the views of Gucci and Beyond campaign on YouTube, which are almost 1.5 million, while Chanel's 2017 campaign with Kira Knightley gathered just 200,000 views. Also, Gucci effectively applies the observational learning theory by creating the Mini Me collection, which according to the observational learning theory can encourage children to dress just like their parents and therefore unconsciously choose the brand when they grow up, while Chanel does not make use of this theory at all. Overall, Gucci's association with symbolic meanings is a less riskier approach, and as it can be seen by the reach of its marketing activities and the brand's value, is more effective than Chanel's association with celebrities, while the lack of variety in Chanel's marketing techniques could make consumers pay less attention to the company's marketing efforts, as can be seen by the number of views in Chanel's video campaigns on YouTube. This brings me to the end of my presentation. To conclude, Gucci successfully applies the behavioral learning theory and cognitive learning theory to its marketing activities. The brand is associated with positive feelings and ideas in the minds of consumers, and that is why it differentiates itself from its competitors. Chanel also applies the behavioral learning theory and more specifically the celebrity endorsement. However, its approach is riskier since the brand depends on certain people who in the future could change their behavior and make the brand image suffer. Thank you for watching!